Bacolod City and Negros Occidental. This is Sunstar Bacolod News Bits tonight. Bringing you the top stories that you need to know right now. DOH Western Visayas reports four new confirmed COVID-19 cases in Negros Occidental and Bacolod City. Governor says ABS-CBN shut down a bad timing. You're still watching Sunstar Bacolod News Bits tonight. And for the details, the Department of Health Western Visayas reported four more confirmed a coronavirus disease or COVID-19 cases in Negros Occidental and Bacolod City. They form part of the 11 new COVID-19 cases in the region as of today. In Negros Occidental, the patients include the 30-year-old female from La Castellana and 43-year-old male from Escalante City who are both asymptomatic. They are the province patients 5 and 6 who are currently isolated in a quarantine facility. The provincial government said they are part of the repatriated overseas Filipino workers who arrived in the province via to go malasakit voyage last April 28. The other two patients are from Bacolod City. The DOH said they are 27 and 42 years old males who are also repatriated OFWs. The city's patients 10 and 11 are isolated in a quarantine facility. All over Western Visayas, there are already a total of 91 positive cases with 10 deaths and 31 recoveries. For Negros Occidental Governor Eugenio Jose Laxon, the shutdown of broadcast operation of television network ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation is a bad timing as it happened amid the coronavirus disease or COVID-19 pandemic. Laxon said, now that the country is in the midst of a global pandemic, this is not a good time to close a broadcast network which has been a constant source of news and information of the general public. The governor expected that the National Telecommunications Commission or NTC would grant ABS-CBN provisional authority to operate until such time that the Congress has made a decision on the network's franchise renewal. The Congress, he added, should act on this judiciously. For the Negros Press Club, the cease and desist order could not have come at a worse time. The oldest press club in the country, in a statement said it stands with the media workers of ABS-CBN affected by the shutdown. It called on the Congress to expedite its deliberation and action on the franchise renewal of the network. For the local labor sector, General Alliance of Workers Association Secretary General Wenny Sancho said the order to stop ABS-CBN's operation is anti-labor. On Tuesday evening, the television giant went off the air following the CDO issued by the NTC. The network's franchise expired on May 4. Bills on its renewal are still pending in Congress. Thank you for watching Sunstar Bacolod News Bits tonight. Catch us every night here on Sunstar Bacolod News. For more news and updates, visit our website and social media pages. Get the facts straight. Be the first to know. I'm Erwin Icavera. Good evening.